What up YouTube? My name's Robert. I'm coming at you from beautiful, sunny Queensland, Australia. Yes, we do exist for you conspiracy theorists out there. I'm not an American actor. There are no drugs in our water supply. We really are here. Now I'm coming at you today. First video on my YouTube channel. I thought I'd start it off with a bit of excitement, a bit of a bang, some diesel smoke explosions, a bit of destruction just for the fun of it. But first, story time now there was this fella for the sake of argument we'll call him mr dude now mr dude had nowhere to stay so i out of the goodness of my heart let him come here and stay with us for a while now mr dude had also broken his car because i don't know mr dude's a fuckhead who doesn't know how to do up a fucking sump bolt properly so there you go Anyway, Mr. Dude's car was broken, so again, out of the goodness of my heart, I let him borrow my car, an old Toyota Camry. Nothing special, just, you know, something reliable that he could drive to work and whatnot until he sorted his own shit out. Anyway, months went by, and Mr. Dude, he was very nice and well-mannered, and he even helped me with some odd jobs around the yard, which was nice of him, you know? And then Mr. Dude found a house, his own house. Good for him. I'm glad he found a nice place out the other side of town having a good time, but Mr. Dude still did not have a car. So Mr. Dude wanted to take my Toyota Camry to his new house with him. Now, so I reluctantly, out of the goodness of my heart, let him take my car away. However, I made him leave behind two solar panels and a junked old caravan as collateral. Now I'm sure you all on the internet already know what collateral means, but for those uneducated of you, let me inform you. Collateral means if you do not pay me for the car, I take ownership of your crap. That's what collateral is for, yeah? So I set Mr. Dude a deadline to pay for the car by eight o'clock last night. Well, after many, many text messages of abuse and fucking threats and bloody, bloody this and bloody that, and I'm gonna call everybody on you and blah, 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 and even had the gall to suggest that the only reason I wanted to keep his shitty solar panels was so that I could put them on my caravan. Well, Mr. Dude, I hate to inform you, but I do not want your crappy solar panels. <laughs> so, as per the title of this video, I'm sure has already suggested, I present to you my 100 year old German engineered Holder AM2. This is a 25 horsepower, naturally aspirated, two cylinder, two stroke diesel. And for all you engine nerds out there, I'm sure you can correct the odd wanker who's going to tell me that there's no such thing as a two stroke diesel. Because there is. The Germans have been making them for 200 years, mate. Do your fucking research before you start accusing people of not knowing their crap. And here we have one and two shitty solar panels. From the look of them on further investigation, they've got a drilled out hinge on the side and a leg on the back. It looks like it was one of those 300 watt camping kits that you unfold and sit on the ground. Well, just to prove to Mr. Dude that I do not want to steal his shitty solar panels, which I guess are now my shitty solar panels, I'm gonna see what happens when a 100 year old tractor meets a solar panel. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let me get you set up on your pedestal here and get that mozzie off my ear. And I give you destruction.
<laughs> oh, yes! Yes, destruction! That's what I wanted to see. Well, there you go, Mr. Dude. I don't think your crappy solar panel stood much of a chance against my antique German equipment. Oh, well, lovely. Oh, okay. That was an interesting start to my YouTube channel, wasn't it? Now, I'm very much expecting Mr. Dude to ring the police on me and try to have them steal his things back for him, which is, you know, not going to go well for him, but, you know, it'll be fun when they get here. Um, comment down below what you think I should do with the second solar panel. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what to do with it, but I'm sure you guys have got some creative ways of destroying it that I can rely on you, I'm sure. And, uh, Mr. Dude, have a nice life. Oh, and, uh, like, subscribe, and join me next week for something a little more serious. I'll, uh, be building an engine mount for that Harley-Davidson cruiser I've been working on. We're turning it into an electric motorbike for a friend of mine.